you don't disagree with the Quran, you don't disagree with worshipping God, Allah, you don't see anything fundamentally evil in what Muslims do, then why don't you consider becoming Muslim sooner rather than later? Then it should go to the realm of reason. Absolutely. Yeah. Reasoning tells yeah. us um, that something. What, what do you think is the fundamental teachings of Islam? Therefore, something cannot come from nothing. So, by default, there is something. Uh, Otherwise, correct. We will not be yeah. existing here. Correct. The Prophet Muhammad. I, I hear what you're saying. Even yeah, when we say one God, say I like to say that there's only that. one Allah. No, because the Christians will say, say there's only one God. And I would argue that, look, we, can, so the comparison between. Answer. What we believe Allah uh, and what most people believe in as God uh, is very not different. Allah doesn't rest. In the Bible it says that God created the world in six days and rested on the seventh. We don't believe that. Our Allah doesn't need to rest. Tiredness doesn't fatigue, doesn't get sleepy, he doesn't. You know what I mean? Our belief in Allah, we don't believe Allah became a man and died on the cross. So fundamentally, Islam and the belief in Allah and like you know how we talk about how loving Allah is. Yeah, the I most loving I really can and, stand here and the most again. merciful. Really However, really Allah is yes, the yes, most yes, wise yes, and the all-knowing as well. So he's all of these different yes, names and attributes yes, Allah has. So I know the gentleman's going to leave. You're going to leave fairly soon. Um, you've got translation in the language you speak, right? What, what language do you read in? Portuguese. Portuguese. But, um, I, I try to pray in Arabic. Yeah, of course, of course, of course. Um, for the time being, um, you can you can do that as long as the perfect way to pray is in Arabic. And when we're praying Salah, like the five daily prayers, it has to be in Arabic. As long as there is a... Um, because you're in the beginning stages, like you do it to the best of your ability, as long as you're doing a proactive way of learning. So it's not talking about now either. Before I came out, I was doing the five prayers every day. Yeah, I can get I was waking that, up right. at three in the now, morning to get the, the first one. Now, I was talking but about. Madam. But coming here was a bit that hard. By default, yeah. that we I, would, I, am, uh, I was a nanny at a house, how this and uh, yeah, my yeah. family was very anti now, Islam, so I just kept to myself. Say, mm. We didn't really I have need the space to know to do how my the tree was. And the tree cannot what is the condition for your prayer to be accepted? Uh, we need an external agent faith. to tell us how. Oh, yeah. why Do you the have faith? Like that. Tell us. Yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. So what is the condition for your faith to be accepted? So therefore, you need to have when the creation uh, is is the, creator the belief in the heart and testimony guidance. of the tongue. So that you know. So what is with the all due respect, the so we're talking prophets. If you're praying and you're like fasting. Understood. But you haven't said your shahada, so it, it, it doesn't count. This is so rational. Have you heard this before? I'm sorry. I heard it, yeah. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I think the fact of the matter is, what's stopping you from leaving this conversation saying that, look, I bear witness that there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah. And I bear witness that the Prophet Muhammad is the servant and messenger of Allah. If you say that in Arabic, you're Muslim, so yeah. I can say it for you slowly. No, I said it. My my friend, uh, one of my Muslim friends, he, he, turned up and turned and said, he wants to say, like, okay, repeat after me, and I repeated it. It's like, nah, now you're Muslim. You're yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. So I would say that. Well, he said, no, you have to. Say, then he told me, like, oh, no, I have to say it. In faith, you actually have to. Uh, you have the faith, but you just need to say it. Because the fact of the matter is, like I said, the um, Iman, yeah. belief, true belief in Islam is um, belief in the heart, testimony of the tongue, actions of the limbs. At the moment, you have the actions of the limbs, you have the belief in the heart. But you haven't said it, um, you haven't got the testimony of the tongue. So it's basically, you say, Ashadu Allah ilaha illallah, wa ashadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasul. So basically, what that means is. And yes, so. Um, yeah, so are you ready to say it in Arabic? No. Why not? No pressure, I'm just curious. I just like to 
I like to dedicate myself 100 percent. I've read the back about these. I should really practice my faith. So I want to be 100 percent sure before I'm ready to say. Do you call yourself an atheist? What? 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 Where? Where is that lack of 100 percent certainty? Because I think you have 100 percent certainty, and there's a difference between having 100 percent certainty and having 100% time, having 100% dedication in the actions. And I'm saying the five pillars, right? You have, you need to say the Shahada and then everything else falls into place. The rest of them is action. The only one, which is testimony, is the Shahada. And then the Shahada leads to prayers. And I'm saying that, look, at the end of the day, it's a journey. Not all Muslims, unfortunately, not all Muslims are praying five times a day. Yeah? Now, if you leave prayer thinking that you don't need to pray, then I seriously question your Islam. If you are unable to play due to laziness or due to forgetfulness or due to like oversleeping, yeah? that's between you and Allah. Am I, am I making sense? So you're not somebody who doesn't respect the necessity of praying. You know that it's necessary, you know it's, it's, it's compulsory. Yeah? So the rest of it, so I don't think you have, you actually have a valid reason because it's not, it's not a lack of conviction. I'm, if I'm correct, if I'm incorrect, correct me. You have the conviction. The only difference is you should have introduced yourself that I am a Muslim. Say that again, sorry? I am, uh, I'm going to have lessons on the forum next month. What, what lessons do you need? Because there is a misconception that you need to know Arabic. You need to know how to pray. No, 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 no. You, you, but every religion, every can religion. What I'm you can do that as a Muslim. That's gaining more knowledge. The fundamental belief you need, you have it. But there's a, with all due respect, there's something, maybe arrogance, maybe something that's preventing you from saying it out loud. I would say that look, it's better to leave this conversation testifying in Arabic that there's no God worthy of worship except Allah, then to leave with what you came with. Does that make sense? What you came with is very good, very nice. Yeah? But you need to um, testify to the belief and then actively increase your knowledge. Then you can go Arabic classes. You can go Arabic classes now. You can go next week, go next year. Because the difference is, with all due respect, I'm going to say something which may offend you. Yeah? If you died right now, this very second right now, where would your destination be? Heaven or hell? Only God is to know. Yeah. You know, it's a natural inclination, a natural way of life. The fact of the matter is, it's not for me to judge. Yeah. Only Allah judges. However, I can base it on knowledge given by Allah and the Messenger. And if whoever dies who doesn't testify to the belief, have say the shahada, then the destination isn't going to be paradise. Does that make sense? That's the example I was using earlier about there's a difference between seeing the finishing line and crossing the finishing line. Does that make sense? Because I say this to a lot of people and the reality of it is, look, when we're in life, yeah, the conditions of faith, condition, condition to enter paradise, yeah, is not even praying five times a day. The condition is shahada, is the testimony of the faith. So no Muslim is a Muslim until they testify. Does that make sense? Now that testimony over time necess necessitates the five pillars. Does that make sense? And I can guarantee you, you already have the six articles of faith, which is belief in God, belief in Qadr, which is divine decree, the good and bad is all from Allah. Yeah. Judgment Day, believe in angels, believe in prophets and messengers, yeah, belief in the books revealed by God. You know what I mean, so you have that, 
but you don't have the testimony. So what's preventing you from leaving this conversation right now as someone who submits the will to God, who is a Muslim? What's stopping you? Tell me, sister. Yeah? You don't want to share it with me, yeah? That's fine, my sister. May Allah make it easy for you. I would say, um, you have a direct relationship? Yeah, may Allah make it easy for you. Sorry. Connect yourself no, with the mosque and the Quran, yeah. and I sincerely appreciate your time. Yeah? Um, connect yourself with good Muslim sisters. There's an organization, it's called Revert to Reality. You can Google them, um, speak to them. Revert to Reality. Yeah. All right, I'll take, I'll take it out. Yeah. Sure. And then they, they've got like good classes and they've got like sisterhood and they've got all different different stuff that you might, um, diversion activities that you may enjoy doing. But the main thing is sisterhood as well and they're very proactive. Um, and I think, yeah, you need to prioritize what's important to you. And I know Islam is important to you and I respect that. And I don't want to come across judgmental or rude or offensive. Um, I care about you hereafter. That's why I was a little bit harsh with you. Um, but I think no and I when, do appreciate it. I really like talking about it. No, no, thank you so much. Because the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he said, no the best amongst, I mean, Alex, right nice um, the yeah. company, you're upon the religion of the company you keep. So that's why increased the better company and so on and so forth. Which I'm sure you've got good Muslims and I love you. Yeah. Sorry. No, no, no problem. Thank you so much. Take care. Take care, sir. Thank you. Thank you, madam, sister. Ah, subhanallah. Um, alhamdulillah, may Allah make it easy for her. Um, what ends up happening is she's very close. She's she's praying. Um, she says she wants to, she will become Muslim. I don't know when the camera started recording. Um, she's on that journey. Um, she even said she wants to go experience Ramadan. Um, she wants to embrace Islam after she studied the Quran, because like, she's doing circles. There's nothing in Islam she disagrees with, but there's something fundamental which is preventing her from taking the Shahada now. And because uh, I knew that she was with somebody and they're going to have to leave the conversation, I couldn't really go too deep into it. Because sometimes there's family pressures, sometimes there's pressure in regards to how the society is going to react, how the employer is going to react. Um, maybe it's the dress code, maybe she feels like a bit hesitant in regards to that. So it wasn't, we didn't have enough time to unpack it. So may Allah make it easy for her. And yes, yeah, subhanAllah, she was even talking about her journey, how she's resilient and she's very much into Islam. She wants to become Muslim. Her family is making it difficult for her. But Alhamdulillah, may Allah grant her Islam and lengthen her life to the point that she embraces Islam and make it beneficial for her and her family and give her tawfiq to say the shahada. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.